What's up guys? In this video, I will be showing you guys how to make your own custom Minecraft text account. So let's go. The first thing you're going to want to do is right click anywhere on the screen and do go to new and click on folder. Name this folder whatever you want. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So open up the folder. Now you're going to have a file open and you're going to click on new and you're going to go folder and you're going to do assets. And open that folder and do a new folder. That's not a folder. New folder and name this Minecraft. And open this and you're going to do, guess what? Another folder. Textures. And then finally, the last folder. Items. Now you can also do blocks if you want, but I'm just going to do items. So we're going to go to a website now that can help us make our texture. Okay. I'm on the website. I will link this in the description of the video. It's a really good like pixel website. So create new and you're going to set this to 16. If you want to make a 32 X pack, you can put 32 and just click on create. Now we can do pretty much any item here. So first thing I want to do is click the button B or click on this drawing utensil right on the right hand side and click on the circle up here and turn it down to one pixel and the softness to 0%. So now you can do this with the eraser too, but you have to draw something first. So let's try to draw like anything. I wanna draw a red circle. So I'm gonna pick the color red and we're just gonna draw the circle. I don't know what this is gonna be, so it kind of looks like a tomato. Maybe we'll call it a tomato. So let's just fill in this thing right here. And let's fill in the outside with a darker red. So it looks kind of more like Minecraft. There we go. It's not perfect, but it works. So there we go. Then what we can do is we can click on that. Select this. We can go to filter. De filter details and go into add noise and we can just add a little bit of texture in there so you know it kind of looks like a tomato now we can center this image so it goes right in the middle of the screen there we go and pretty much done i want to add a, a little more stuff like maybe some white light colors on this side right here and oh i messed up dang it kind of light and then we'll make it even more light kind of show like we got don't know kind of like that okay there we go we can also change this to make that a little less dark on this side and there we go. We got our we got our item right there. <laughs> so now you're gonna want to click on your keyboard Control S, or you can go up here and save it, and this will allow you to save it. Click on PNG. Make sure it's PNG. Click as Save As, and just save it wherever you want. All right. This website can only be used three times, so open up a private window and then try to use it because I've already used it up three times because it'll only show you have a certain amount of saves. So you got to use it three times so you can just use it infinite, infinitely with these private windows. All right. Just to let you know, you don't have to do this part if you already know like this. If you're doing it for blocks, you might need to know this. Like, for example, oak logs have and a bottom thing grass blocks and you don't really need part but it'll... okay so next thing you want to do is you want to search percent app data percent click on the file and you're going to go to dot minecraft find versions and click on the version that you want to do so I'm doing 1.20.1 so click on that and you want to Copy this, 
So now you can close that out and just make a new folder. Doesn't matter the name, open that and paste it in. And then extract it. If you have WinRAR, you can extract it easily. So I close it out once you get all that stuff in. So now just click on the assets, click on Minecraft, and then textures. Now you can see all of this. Click on item. And you're going to have every item in the game. So I'm going to I, I'm going to edit the item redstone. So we have redstone.png. So that's what we're going to name this. So since it's called redstone.png, we're going to open up our other folder. That's not the right one. This one. Go to assets, Minecraft, textures, items. Now I'm pretty sure it's actually supposed to be named item, but I'm just going to rename it item for that. So item. And then we're going to drag in the, the untitled.png, which is this interesting image I've made and we are going to name it redstone.png. Okay, there we go. Now what we're also going to do is we're going to copy this. We're going to go all the way back to this part and we're going to paste it right there and we're just going to name it pack.png. Just like that. All right, now we're going to have to do one more thing. So you're going to create a new text document. So new text document. And I have a preset one. So this is a thing you want to do. So I'll have this in the, in the description for you. This is for 1.20.1. So you're going to open this up. Paste that in. 15 is for 1.1. Now you're going to put a description. I'm just going to put is a tomato. Okay, we're going to save that. We can now close this and you're going to name this pack.mc meta. So lowercase pack and then remove the dot txt mcmeta. Once you do that, make sure you click yes and you are pretty much done. Now you can either just drag in the folder or you can turn this into a zip file by right clicking this and clicking compress to zip file or use WinRAR to do it. So I'm just going to drag the folder because I don't want to compress it into a zip. So I'm going to load it up in Minecraft. Okay, I'm in Minecraft and I'm going to show you how to get this texture back into the game. So click on options, resource packs and open pack folder. This is going to show all the packs you have. If you don't have any packs, then this will be your first one. Now just drag the folder you have right into there. You can click X and that's all you can do. So now you're going to see the pack. And as you can see, it says is a tomato and it has the pack image. So we're going to click done. So now if I search myself redstone, as you can see right there, redstone dust, it also shows it up here because that's what I used. We got ourselves the redstone item right there. Well, it's more like a tomato. I don't even know what this is. It does look pretty stupid. But if you are really good at designing images, then you can turn this into like something really cool. I have another texture pack where I made myself an emerald sword. I can do other tutorials. So I'm going to give myself a, a diamond sword. I can do this custom model data and then just do one and I get an emerald sword. And I have one more if I do that again, but if I change it to shovel and then I do custom model data too, I can get another sword. This is for a server I've been working on. So I'll also do a tutorial on how to do that as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and tell your friends about this if they've been wanting to do this too. Anyway, peace out guys and have a great day.